Welcome to the Game Audio Resource Wise Cube Guide Series. In this guide, we will script material types to textures, so the game engine can inform Wise which footstep material type is being moved on by the player character. This guide will fix different material types not playing correctly, help you identify texture tiles with no audio material type association, suggest a good alternative fix for the broken hard coded water material type. This step sets up wise data with hierarchy and assets for the player character footsteps. First we set up a basic hierarchy structure. We need to add a master mixer audio bus for global footsteps. Under Project Explorer Audio tab, Master Mixer Hierarchy, locate the sound effects audio bus. Right click, select New Child, Audio Bus, then name the new bus Footstep. Navigate to the Project Explorer Audio tab, Actor Mixer Footstep Work Unit. Right click and select New Child, Switch Container. Name the new container Footstep underscore Human underscore Player. Select the new switch container. In the Properties Editor, Generals tab, Output Bus, change it to the new Master Mixer Footstep Audio Bus we have just created. Now we need to assign children content to affect the switch. Right click the Footstep Human Player Switch Container, select New Child, Switch Container. Name it footstep underscore human underscore player underscore state. Right click the footstep human player states switch container. Select new child, random container. Name it footstep underscore underwater underscore bubbles. Now add the two free audio assets to the random container. In the import window, change the path to sound effect footstep underwater. Also drag the free audio asset INDV waterwades loop into the footstep underscore human underscore player underscore state switch container. Again in the import window place it under SFX footstep underwater. Select the INDV underwater wades loop then in the properties editor select the loop tick box. Right click the footstep human player states switch container, select new child switch container. Name it footstep underscore human underscore player underscore run. Right click the footstep human player run switch container, then select new child, then select sequence container. Copy and paste the new sequence container so you have nine different sequence containers. Now name each container a different material type. Concrete, grass, gravel, metal, sand, stone, tile, water and wood. Let us add the free audio assets for this guide. In the import window, change the import file path to SFX footstep human. Add two assets available for each material type by dragging them onto the corresponding sequence containers. Next we need to tell the structure how to handle the switches we have assigned. Select the footstep human player switch container, then in the properties editor we shall assign a switch. Under switch group select the arrow button, then navigate to switch groups, default work unit, then foot. Select the default switch slash state to left. In the content editor drag the footstep human player state onto the left and right assigned objects variables. Select the footstep human player state switch container, then in the properties editor we shall assign a state. Under switch group, select the arrow button, then navigate to the state groups, default work unit, player in water. In the content editor, drag the switch container footstep human player run onto the assigned object variables none and no. Then drag the INDV underwater wades loop and the random container footstep underwater wades to the assigned object variable yes. Select the footstep human player run switch container, then in the properties editor we shall assign a switch. Then navigate to state groups, default work unit, then material. Select the default switch slash state to concrete. Then drag each sequence container material type to the corresponding assigned objects switch variables, e.g. wood onto wood, grass onto grass. To get the hierarchy working in game, we need to associate the correct sound events. In the Project Explorer Events tab, 
locate all foot underscore sound events. Then drag them into the events, default work unit, footstep work unit. Select the sound event called foot underscore player. Now drag from the actor mixer hierarchy the main parent switch container, footstep underscore human underscore player onto the target column in the events editor. In the project explorer events tab, select the event splash out player. Then right click, select new action, stop, then stop. Drag the INDV water waves loop into the target column. Return to the audio tab, then navigate to the footstep underwater bubbles random container. In the properties editor play mode, change to continuous. Tick transitions, then select type trigger 8, then set duration to 3, then finally set the randomizer max offset to 2. In the property editor advanced tab, tick limit sound instances to 2 globally. Then in the drop down menu, when priority is equal, set it to discard newest instance. Then change to the states tab, select add state group, default work unit, player in water. In the list, under no, voice volume, set it to minus 96. Also, in the list, under yes, set the voice low pass to minus 40. Select the INDV water waves loop. In the properties editor advanced tab, tick limit sound instances to 1 globally. Then in the drop down menu, when priority is equal, set it to discard newest instance. Then change to the States tab, select Add State Group, Default Work Unit, Player in Water. In the list for No, under Voice Volume, set it to minus 96. Then also in the list, under Yes, Voice Low Pass, set it to minus 40. Save your WISE project updates and generate the sound banks. There are a few ways you can address the issues with the player character footsteps being triggered too quickly. This step will offer a different process to others found online. Under the footstep human player run switch container, select the first sequence container called concrete. Right click the concrete sequence container, select new child, then sound SFX. Name the sound silence. In the content editor, select add source, then wise silence. Also, under the duration column, the duration value is the key to the footstep spacing. Set the value to 1. Now we need to assign a playlist for the concrete footsteps. Select the concrete sequence container, then in the content editor, drag one footstep asset into the playlist. Then drag one silent asset into the playlist. Now drag the second concrete footstep asset into the playlist. Finally, drag in one silence asset to end the playlist. Copy and paste the wise silence into each of the sequence containers. Repeat the process for each material type listed, grass, gravel, metal, water, etc. Once you have updated all sequence containers, generate the sound banks and save your wise project updates. Now boot up the game. Move your character around the map. If you feel the spacing is still not quite right between each footstep, return to the silence container. If you feel the spacing between each footstep is too fast, increase the silence duration value to e.g. 2. If you feel the spacing between the footsteps are too slow, decrease the silent duration value to 0.5. Once you have the duration value like for the footstep spacing, Ensure each silent asset under all material types has the same duration value. Add any audio balancing you wish to do to the footsteps, then save your WISE project updates and generate the sound banks.